This is the 62nd lecture in the FOA series of lectures on fiber optics. In this lecture, we're going to talk about on-the-job training, OJT, and particularly how you can use FOA's free online learning site, FiberU, for your OJT. How do you learn about fiber optics? Well, one of the ways, of course, is to attend a class. In a class, you will get knowledge of fiber optics during the classroom sections, and during the lab sections, you'll get hands-on skills in the various processes of fiber optics. The curriculum covers all of the knowledge, skills, and abilities, the KSAs, that FOA experts have defined are needed for a certified fiber optic technician. You can also learn a lot about fiber optics on your own by studying online. You can go to FOA's online learning site, FiberU, and take classes in the basics of fiber optics all the way up to advanced topics like testing. You can even go to the basic skills lab, and if you have the equipment, you can practice and develop skills on your own. This is a great way for people who are self-motivated to learn about fiber optics. And the way many of us learn is to learn by doing. We just go into the hands-on exercises and practice until we get it right making, of course, lots of mistakes along the way. If you like to work this way, you should try FiberU's Basic Skills Lab. There, we give you tutorials on how to do things like splicing or termination or cable prep or testing. Do it correctly. And then you can practice on your own equipment. That's not a bad way to learn if you are self-motivated. Based on our conversation with lots of fiber optic techs we meet in the field, we find that most learn by on-the-job training. They learn from their co-workers and their supervisors how to do the processes, like splicing as shown here, that they need in their work every day. On-the-job training works for all techs all skill levels, novices to experts, and for practically any installation process, whether it's underground construction, as shown here, or aerial construction, or splicing, or termination, or testing, or whatever. The goals for OJT are very straightforward to learn new processes and develop better skills. These techs are learning how to do blown cable installation from a manufacturer's representative working on the job site with them. So they will develop those new skills that they can use in future jobs. The goals for OJT should also include gaining recognition from their employers and their fellow workers who will recognize that they have higher skill levels. They can also use OJT to get certified. The FOA's Work to Cert program and OJT to Cert program can help them become certified fiber optic technicians, the FOA certification that's recognized worldwide. OJT is particularly needed with new employees. New hires, novices to fiber optics, can of course be more productive if they have organized OJT. The FOA, working with both employers and employees, have been developing programs for OJT. We use FiberU training online plus work on the job. We start with a basic fiber optics program at FiberU, so every tech starts with the same basic knowledge of fiber optics. 
The OJT classroom at FiberU is based on the basic fiber optics course. It includes 10 lessons, all free, and takes about 10 to 20 hours, depending on the level of the student. At the end of the course, the student can get a certificate of completion, showing that they have successfully completed all 10 lessons and learn what is expected of them. Once the employee has finished the basic fiber optics classroom part of the course at FiberU, they move on to the basic fiber optics skills lab. This is where they can read and watch videos about all the different processes used in fiber optics and then using the company tools or inexpensive tools and components purchased online, they can practice themselves. The basic skills lab includes cable preparation for splicing and termination, the process of splicing, the process of termination, and all the processes involved in testing. Of course, a big part of OJT is the hands-on training that the employee gets at work. Supervisors and or their co-workers provide guidance and training, helping them learn processes like cable prep and splicing, as this employee is learning here from his supervisor. The basic skills lab we just described can help them learn these processes correctly. By knowing what they'll be doing on the job and doing the parts of the basic skills lab that relate to that part of their job, they can be better prepared when they go out in the field and learn much more rapidly from doing. The goals for OJT are quite simple, to help the employee develop better skills. And those better skills as they develop will benefit their employer as well as the employee, because they will become more productive workers the faster they learn and develop the skills that they use every day on the job. OJT will also help them gain recognition as a more skilled worker and a more motivated worker. And through the FOA's OJT to CERT program, they can become certified as technicians more rapidly. The FOA has developed a guide for OJT, which the employer and the employee can use for conducting an OJT program for fiber techs. If you're interested in this program, which we call the FOA's OJT to CERT program, and which uses the training at FiberU and guidance from the employees, co-workers, and supervisors, contact the FOA at info.foa.org and we'll provide you with details on the program. We're the Fiber Optic Association the International Professional Association of Fiber Optics and the recognized certifying body for fiber optic technicians worldwide. FiberU is the FOA's online learning website with more than two dozen free online courses that take you through all aspects of fiber optics and help you develop the knowledge and skills that you need to be more productive as a fiber optic technician.